If you only want to see fast cars going around Monaco, here are the time tags for you to jump to those videos. The groove tires were likely the most iconic component of F1 cars in the 2000s. Introduced in 1998, the objective was to reduce the contact patch the tires had on the road and therefore the grip the cars had available compared to slick tires. In theory, this would make the cars slower and safer. Back in the day, their reception was mixed, but they managed to achieve their objective. For a while anyway. Tire development eventually caught up and tire grip levels started to increase, in no small part thanks to the Bridgestone Michelin tire, but never to the level of proper slick tires. That meant we had some of the fastest cars in F1 history being limited by their tire sets. Now, thanks to the power of sim racing and modding, we got to see the capabilities of some of the most iconic cars of the 2000s when given modern era slick tires. And when I say most iconic cars of the 2000s, I mean just the F2004 in a set of Corsa. Now, the Ferrari F2004 is remembered as the fastest car of the 2000s. Um, Never mind the fact that the Williams FW26 and the McLaren MP419B had caught up by the end of the season. For that reason, it was included in Assetto Corsa and then modded to have Pirelli slick tires. And with those tires, it has produced some of the most absolutely stupid simulated times ever. The added grip allowing it to challenge the fastest cars in modern times, the 2020 cars that seemingly have infinite downforce. However, when it comes to 2000s cars with slicks, you only really see the F2004, not much else. As a result, I decided to do something different than more F2004 with slicks in Assetto videos. The simulator of the day is, of course, F1 Challenge 9902. Thanks to the power of modding and the fact that F1 Challenge runs on Icy Motor, a version of the engine that powers our factor, we have all of the cars, tracks, and resources needed to make this work. The year is 2005. The F2004, and to be specific, its successors, the F2004M at the end 2005, are not the dominant force anymore. Instead, we'll use the fastest car in F1 at the time, McLaren's MP420, a fragile speedster that Kimi Raikkonen used to tie the most fastest laps in a season record also said by Michael Schumacher's F2004. And the location is the Monaco Street Circuit. We have two objectives today. The first one, match or exceed Kimi Raikkonen's qualifying lap time. This one requires a bit of an explanation, so we will return to this objective. The second objective is to determine how much faster the MP420, equipped with slick tires, will have been. Now let's talk about the qualifying time. The 2005 season had two qualifying systems in place. After Monaco, it was simple. You did a single lap with the fuel you wanted to start the race on. Before and during Monaco, however, it was a bit more complicated. We had the much derided aggregate qualifying system. On Saturday, you had a single shot qualifying with low fuel. On Sunday morning, you had single shot qualifying with race fuel. You add the lap times of both sessions, and that's your qualifying lap time. Clearly, it was a system no one really liked, as it was ditched after six races, Monaco being the last race it was used. It's this system that allows us to do what we're about to do, as I can use the Q1 lap time set on low fuel as our target lap time. For the purposes of this test, I will not be cheating with the setup. Since 2005 had per Park Ferme rules, the setup I'm using must be a realistic race setup, not closing the radiators or the brake dogs or using smaller brake discs. The differential, however, is a different story. I can alter that as I please. If you want specifics, the mods I'm using are 2005 RH, that's Ralph Hummerick, with a few modifications to the tire model, and the Marcus Monaco track as that's the most accurate version of the track available, since the base game's Monaco is not only 
not ideal in terms of accuracy. It's also the pre-2003 version that we definitely do not want and wasn't used in 2005. After a few modis modifications to safe track to reduce grip levels and designing a setup I'm comfortable with, here's a lap I could come up with. Um, apologies for the laggy footage, the Marquez's Monaco is a bit of a performance hog and my poor 1.8 GHz dual core can't quite cope. One thirteen point three seven five. Of course, there are caveats to this lap time. It was done with a keyboard and so on and so forth. But the biggest caveat is a simulator is only as good as the data used to make it. Obviously, 2005 RH isn't perfect. I had to reduce grip levels to achieve lap times closer to the real thing. I was getting 112 highs before, and I might not have reduced it enough. And on another hand, allegedly the Mercedes F110R in the back of the McLaren could reach up to 915 HP in qualifying train at this point in the season, while the peak power of the car in the game is 895 horsepower. Still, for our purposes, this is a solid reference lap for the second objective. Now we just need to put the slick tires on this bad boy. To get the proper physics for these tires, I will be using CMT's F1 2024 basic mode. Again, a sim is only as good as the data used to make it, and as far as I'm concerned, CMT's mods are the best we have in terms of accuracy in this sim. After making a copy of the 2005 McLaren, giving it 2024 purely slicks, modifying say slicks, to be the same size as, as the F2005 Michelin and a texture change so that it looks like an actual slick, I took it to the track. Same setup other than some changes to tire pressure, of course. How much faster can the MP420 lap if it had slick tires?
110.720, 2.5 seconds quicker than the Groove Tar edition of the car. I need you to understand and comprehend. You can question the quality of the simulation because I question it myself as well. You can question the driving, and if you aren't questioning it, then you are doing things very wrong. <laughs> 2.5 seconds in any configuration is a very, very amazing improvement. This is not a serious simulation attempt. It was mostly a thought experiment. Just how much faster would a 2005 car be if it had access to proper clicks over the group's leaks it had at the time. Two to three seconds it's a realistic time delta, at least in my opinion. Can a 2005 car match up to or perhaps beat the 2024 F1 cars? That is a good question, a nice experiment that could also be done. A good idea for a future series, don't you think? And that will be it for this video. Expect to see more of this MP420S, S for Slicks, running around some circuits, perhaps trying to beat a few 2024 pole laps. Comment, like, subscribe, and there's a coffee link down there if you really want to support this content. And now, to close out this video, let's do a straight up comparison between the MP420 and the MP420S with telemetry involved. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.